Hey guys, I'm back. It is Friday. Um, I finally went and got some more wrapping paper and I had to get some more boxes. Right here. Um, Ross and TJ Maxx are the absolute best places that I've found to get wrapping paper. Yes, do it. Don't get glitter. Don't get glitter. There's glitter li literally everywhere. It's all over me. It's still all over my shoes. It's still on the floor and I vacuumed 400 times. It is everywhere. I keep finding it everywhere. Anyways, don't get glitter wrapping paper, okay? Just don't. Anyway, so, um, I got my stuff. I went ahead and grabbed a couple more gifts. Um, and then, yeah, I'm fixing to 31 time lapse, like I did before. Wrap these suckers up. And it's like 1230, and so I'll have to leave in like a couple hours to go get my kids from school. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get this wrapped, and then... Um, also, um, tonight is our, uh, women's Christmas party for our church. And so I'm planning on going, I haven't completely made up my mind yet, but, um, I did go ahead and get dressed for that just because I know after I get my kids from school, there's no way I'm going to be able to get dressed and makeup and all that. And so, um, hopefully before I go to get them, I will be able to try out that, um, eyeshadow palette that come in the Walmart box. And also that liquid lip is like a true liquid lip. You remember I swatched it on my hand? It did not come off. I had to scrub it off. So, um, I'm really interested to see how that's going to work out on my lips. But, um, other than that, let's start wrapping paper. I mean, wrapping gifts. <laughs> and um, invited me to go have a lunch with him. So um, I went ahead and put everything in in boxes so that whenever I go grab my kids from school, they won't see um, what is in them. Um, and I went and grabbed my shoes and my jacket. And so I'm fixing to put that on and then we're fixing to, well, not we, I am fixing to head out to go meet my husband for lunch. So. My lovely boots I've had for like five years. Oh my gosh, okay, bye. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid. Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing So we just had lunch at McAllister's And now I'm running through Starbucks to grab a coffee Before I go get my kids from Cool. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. Can I get started for you? Um, yeah, I need to get a um, grande peppermint mocha latte. All right, anything else? Uh, no, ma'am, that'll be it. Grande peppermint mocha will be five ninety one. Thank you. Thank you. We've made it back home, um, and I got another package in the mail. So um, I'm fixing to drag it over there and set you up in front of the Christmas tree, and we'll wrap that present too. Hugging and kissing just you and me. Carolers are singing outside our door. Lovely songs we all heard before as they walk.
Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake. And then we go skating on the frozen lake. Saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace. Carol okay, so I'm in my bathroom right now. I sincerely apologize about the lighting. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven light bulbs out above my mirror so um i just wanted to let you know why it's so dark in here but um i am running a little behind um i did go ahead and just throw on my vest and change out of my boots and my pants and put on a different pair of pants and different pair of shoes um yeah just so that i could be more comfortable tonight um i do need to run the straightener through my hair i did just kind of touch up my makeup a little bit but i cannot go to a christmas party with this so, um, I'm listening to straighten my hair real fast, and then we are going to go. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is falling It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Do a lip. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. That is the finished look of a um, all day um, makeup touched up slightly with a new lip color. Actually, this is the one that come in that Walmart box, the uh, NYX Lingerie. Mm -hmm. I love the color. Um, I had Carmex on to begin with, so I'm curious to see how this is going to work with that on there. But yeah, um, I am listening to load my kids up, go meet my husband, and head to the Christmas party. So Romans chapter 14, verse like 19 says to do the things that make for peace. And so I started thinking, what, is, what makes for peace? Now, there are some things that don't make for peace. Like if you were to put, um, for instance, my, my pig candy, it called for cayenne pepper and um, brown sugar. But if I were to put uh, black pepper and chili pepper and some other different things, that would not make for peace, amen, in your mouth. Uh, or ghost pepper, right? If you put the wrong ingredients, you don't get what you're looking for. And you need the right ingredients. Now, some things that don't make for peace, I found in um, Philippians chapter 4, verse 5, says that anxiety, it says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything with thanksgiving and prayer, make your petitions done to the Lord, and the peace that passes understanding will guard your heart. So, things that make for peace is a thank thankful heart, thankful attitude, thankfulness makes for peace. In fact, if I think about um, how thankful I am, it, it is the exact cure for anxiety. If you suffer from anxiety, I can tell you how to get free without paying a lot of money to a psychiatrist and without having to take Xanax. Um, have a thankful heart. It does it every time. I have clinically proven this with women who were bound by anxiety. Um, at the shelter and now are free from it because they spent one week being so thankful. Thankful for the chair they're sitting on. Thankful for the people who um, have taken care of them and brought them in. Thankful. Extremely thankful. So live a life of gratitude and that is an ingredient to peace. Another ingredient to peace is uh, found in Isaiah 32:17. It says, 
The result of righteousness is peace. <coughs> and the effect of righteousness is quiet assurance forever. And so what is righteousness? Right. Yes, righteousness in this form, it's Sigkenu in um, Hebrew, is not the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, which we all are. We all, once you accept Christ, it's not our own righteousness. It's not a self-righteousness. When God looks at you, he sees his son and you're forgiven. Okay, this is not that. The righteousness, Sidkenu, means doing the things that please the Father. There's special blessing for those who walk righteously. No good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly. Rejoice for the steps of a righteous person are ordered of the Lord. Amen. James chapter 5 says the prayers of the righteous man are powerful and effective. So if your prayers aren't feeling very powerful, if they aren't feeling very effective, you need to check your righteousness. Right? You're doing the things that please the Father. Because you're forgiven and free, but there's special blessing on those who walk forgiven, who walk free. You're not free to sin. You're free from sin. Amen? Amen. So what makes for peace, ingredients that make for peace, is a grateful heart, is doing the things that please the Father. Because, you know, Romans, I believe it's chapter 9, says that if you obey the law, you don't have to be worried about flashing lights in your rearview mirror. I don't. You don't have to be afraid of police. Um, and then, you know, Galatians 5.20 says, Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against these things, there's no law. You can be as patient as you want in traffic and not get pulled over at all. You can have love all day long and not go to jail for it. There's actually a lot that you can do in the kingdom of God. Against such, there's no law. So doing the things that make for peace or doing the things that please the Father regarding truth and having a grateful heart. And I just want this to be the most peaceful Christmas of your life. This will be the best Christmas if it's the most spiritual Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's not about, what was it that we said tonight on the way here, Christine, that the Grinch said, perhaps Christmas doesn't come from a store. <coughs> perhaps yeah, Christmas a means a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Christmas does mean a little bit more. And so let's do the things that make for peace with our family. Do the things that make for peace in your heart with the Lord, and I just want to, before we go to presents, and I hope that's okay, Leslie, um, instead of necessarily reading the Christmas story or something like we typically do, because you never want it to be just all about this. You want it to be about the gift, right. amen, and the giver of gifts, um, and that's why we exchange gifts. You know, we put a, a star or an angel on our tree for good purpose, to remind us of the star of Christmas, to remind us what wise men still seek, right? Um, to remind us of the angels that heralded, we put ribbon flowing down our tree to remind us of the river of God that flows from heaven's throne. We put ornaments on our tree as testimonies to our own salvation experience. We put lights on our tree because Jesus is the light of the world. We decorate our tree for good purpose. The same reason we give gifts, we give gifts for good purpose. It's because we've been given the greatest gift of all salvation and we want to give in semblance of that to one another. So let's bow our hearts, and we're going to have so much fun with this game that Leslie has, and we're also all going to go home with something. You're not going to go home empty-handed. Don't you love that? Don't you like getting something? I do. I love to get a present, but I love to give a present too. So let's just give Jesus a present. Let's give him our heart, and let's ask that peace would guard our heart this Christmas. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for being obedient to the point of death on the cross. Thank you for conquering death for us. Thank you for coming to earth, Lord, with the mission of loving us well and serving us and washing our feet. Tonight, we serve you with a grateful heart. I'm so grateful for all of this food. We have so much more than most. I'm so grateful, God, for this warm home when it's cold outside. I'm so thankful for Leslie's giving heart, for Miss Ginger's giving heart, for Miss Betty's sweet spirit. For Miss Laverne's faithfulness through the years. For Lisa Brown's example to me. For Michelle McGee's friendship. For Miss Carol's workmanship. Oh God, I'm so grateful for the women in here who have spoken into my life. Father, we humbly come before you thankful. 
thankful for our families. We lift them to you. And we choose not to be bitter. We choose not to be angry or easily ruffled. We will walk in peace. We'll be slow to anger because we're doing the things that please the Father because we're grateful. When we're grateful for our husbands, God, we're less angry with them. When we're grateful for schoolwork and the opportunity to be educated, then we're less frustrated with it. We're at peace. I pray for your presence in our heart and we give it over to you. We surrender it to you this entire Christmas season. May it be so enriching as we focus on your love, Lord. Let your love shine through us. God, I'm so thankful for Angela Stein who blesses me every time she opens her mouth and every time she dances. I thank you for Mariah, how she and Gavin have spent this first year of their life married. This will be their first Christmas together married. I pray extra special blessing on them. They'll always remember their first Christmas. It'll be significant. Lord, I'm grateful for Miss Angela Griffin. I love to hear her sing. I love to hear her give insight to me uh, personally from, from her devotions. It means so much. Lord, I'm so thankful for the women in this room. They are valuable to the kingdom. And I release them into their purpose and their destiny in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing.